Hey guys, it's been a while. Today we're gonna to be making healthy turkey burgers. Now if you notice, we're in a completely different environment than normal. No, I did not move. We are visiting family in Colorado. We're at my parents' house and I'm here with Janae the filmer. Say hi, Janae. And the mom! <laughs> Let's get the ingredients we need for those turkey burgers. Follow me. we need. Ground turkey, it comes in a pound and um, it's quite inexpensive. Usually you can get it for $1.99. That's why we choose this over beef. Then we have some onion, some Dijon mustard, garlic powder, and to put on top of the patties we have cheddar cheese and we're going to be wrapping it in some lettuce. Um, we're in the jalapenos. Here they are. <laughs> okay, Mom, why don't you show me how to do these? Okay. Well, we're going to need a knife to cut this open. <laughs> Always try to have a sharpened knife at home, kids. This is gonna taste better at the end, okay? Anyways, mom, what do we do next? Okay, now, and you know, to tell you the truth, that looked pretty gross. <laughs> but we're gonna take some onion and we're gonna chop it. But first we're going to clean this meat juice off of the board. And because we don't want germs, so we always clean things off to make it really sanitary. And it's gonna be delicious. Now that the sanitation's done, let's cut the onion. You ready, Mom? Yeah. But I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it either. Oh, I guess I'll have to do it. All right, the onion's cut. A quick tip, when I was a kid, I learned that if you cut the onion and run it under cold water, it won't hurt your eyes. Let's add some garlic powder to our delicious log. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> You guys like garlic. <laughs> and here we have some honey Dijon. I got this at Walmart for like $1.70. And I have recently been adding this mustard to it and it gives it a little bit of an extra chef's kiss. So let's add some of that. Mm. Mom, would you like to add the onions? I would love to. How many did we, how much did we end up using? We used a half an onion. <laughs> <laughs> what? We got some on the ground. <laughs> the dogs will eat it later. In my <laughs> Recap. We have onions, garlic powder, and Dijon mustard. Now what's left is the jalapenos. Okay, let's start chopping some jalapenos. All right, let's do it. Now, mom, you were the person who showed me how to make these turkey burgers. Mm -hmm. They're a really healthy option over beef, and like I said earlier, they're extremely inexpensive, which really works. Okay. The cool thing about these burgers is you can customize them any way you want, pretty much with whatever's in your fridge. So you can add mm -hmm. onion, um, you've added carrots before, and uh, eggs. She likes to and add an egg. egg, it makes it more sticky, but keep in Mo mind. And moist. Yeah. Moist. Moist. Cut! Okay, we are adding the jalapenos. And Jamie's gonna mix it because I don't want to. Let's go mix this log, guys. Get in there. <laughs> I know this is what you've subscribed to. This kind of viewing for your pleasure. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, what we do is we get the turkey, this gross looking mashed turkey. 
And I always start a little higher on my stove to get it heated up faster. And then we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. And now we're gonna wait until it heats up. We interrupt this uh, cooking show to have our mental health minute. It's really important to get out and move your body. I'm not talking about exercising and diet. I'm talking about getting out and moving your body. It actually helps your mental health. So normally, we go for a walk mm -hmm. every single day. Yes. We like to go around sunset and it's free. It doesn't cost any money. You can just walk around, walk yes. around your neighborhood um, and get out there and move that body. And, it, and just to, to breathe the air, it's just a wonderful moment that you can just relax, recenter your thoughts and emotions. Pro tip, don't forget to hydrate. Yeah, you know what's on that? The skillet is hot, so now we need to lower it to medium, and also we need to evenly coat all of the oil across the pan so that we don't have any sticky spots. And now, it's time to form. All right, get in there. And be sure to, to wash your hands. Before and after. Yes. And then just put them on. Boom. Then just kind of pat them together. Ow. Upset <laughs> <laughs> my leg. We're going to leave these cooking on one side for about five to seven minutes and then we'll flip them. In the meantime, let's make a refreshing cucumber tomato salad. Mom, will you All rinse right. these up? All right. We flipped the burgers and now we're going to add the vegetables to the bowl. Here they go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna just mix all the ingredients together. We got the salad cut. I always, I love balsamic vinaigrette, so we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. And I love lemon, that just brings out the zest. And then we're gonna put, I love onion powder or garlic powder, it both tastes so good. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna mix it all together. Isn't that look yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we had them on both sides for seven to 10 minutes, depending on the altitude and your stove heat. Um, it just depends on how long it's gonna take to cook, but there is a way to tell if they're done. So what you need to do is you need to press it down in the spatula, and if it's light pink at all, that means you need to leave it for a couple more minutes. So see how the juices are running completely clear? There's no pink in it. That means they're done. What we need to do now is add cheddar cheese to them. We'll add a little bit of paprika to make it look pretty. That is optional, of course. And then we need to put a lid on it so that the cheese melt it, melts. Make sure you keep an eye on it because the, all of the cheese can melt off very quickly. So only give it like a minute and then check. Let's check. Oh, see how quickly it melts? So we're gonna turn the heat off and take it off the heat. Now we need to make our iceberg lettuce hamburger buns, basically. We'll take the top layer off since it's kind of wilty. And then what I usually do is kind of like cut like that around. Then I pop it out and that way you can easily tear apart and make little basically lettuce wraps around whatever meat you're eating. a little seashell. Okay, perfect. Here we go. We are going to add them into our little lettuce. It's a little wrap. 
Like I said, this one makes four. So if you have more people or if you want leftovers, then just get two little of those delicious turkey logs and make a double batch. Our side salad. Yum, that looks so yummy, yummy, yummy. Hi. <laughs> mm. This looks really good. Yo! <laughs> okay, we're all done. You yeah. guys know what comes next. <laughs> The taste test. Taste. Oh, so here so we good. go. You want to bite? All right. Oh man. I guess here goes my first bite. Oh, oh, it's so good. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Here's a, here's, a, here's a completed yes. project, project, oh. project. It looks so great. <laughs> when you, before you, oh. oh, are you still going? Yeah. Okay, let's add our, okay, we're gonna add our salad side. <laughs> what do you wanna do? Are we done?